Now, with quite a bit of snowfall expected in some places, hundreds of people are trying to scrap their shovels for snowblowers. Sounds simple, but it's really not. Cynthia Newsom takes us on the frustrating search for those snowblowers. Cynthia? Oh, it is frustrating, Elizabeth. The chilling forecast means that snowblowers are a hot commodity in short supply. Now, if you've been calling area hardware stores trying to find a snowblower, you probably got a busy signal. Calls have been flooding stores all day, and most people are getting the same story. All snowblowers have been sold. We checked with Strasser True Value Store in Kansas City, Kansas, and Smitty's Lawn and Garden in Olathe. Smitty's had 20 snowblowers at 8 o'clock this morning. By noon, they were all sold. Janet Nesh walked out with the last snowblower in stock, and she is thrilled. I made a plan. I called Smitty's Saturday morning, just shortly after they opened, asked what they had, had already done research, they had what I wanted, and I paid for it by credit card over the phone and told them I'd pick it up today. We're expecting another shipment of about 80 to 90 tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how the weather goes, see what time we get them, but uh, and about half of those are sold as of right now. All right, we have done the checking for you to save you some time. Smitty's, as you heard, will get some more snowblowers tomorrow. Westlake, Ace Hardware, and all the Home Depots in the metro are sold out. Check with Nuts and Bolts True Value in Overland Park. At 5 p.m., they still had a few in the store. If you find one, try to pay for it on the phone like Janet so it's still in the store when you go to pick it up. So, happy hunting, happy shoveling, or snowblowing if you're lucky. Cynthia Newsom, NBC Action News.